Get up. Huh? Is something wrong? Ah, uh, don't worry. It can wait. I'm exhausted. Wait, Arthur. All right. Plan in the next big score, are you? Always. the same now it wasn't uh, the the master of the house who my father loved in a way but his brother whom my father hated with an almighty passion Damn drunk he, he, he beat the slaves almost nightly whip them <sighs> rape them one night my father was getting a whooping for the crime of being born by this horrible bastard when his sister-in-law the, the master's wife walks in now, fearing for my father's life, she told her brother-in-law to stop. Well, not only did he not stop, he beat her too. Next day, his brother, the master, shot him dead. The whole plantation cheered. The master gave my father his dead brother's watch and told him as he did so, time will catch up with us all. A year later, he set them free and hanged himself the very next night. My father gave me that watch. Beautiful, big pocket watch it was. And now, I've gone and lost it fleeing Blackwater. When I get some spare money, I'm gonna buy myself another one to honor both my father and them folks that saved his life. Look out, old man. Hey. John? You busy, Arthur? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius.
when I when I was frisky over some potent whiskey, like the waves of the bay of the biscuit, I began to tumble and roar. My face was as red as a lobster. I fell and broke my poor knobster. I watched you was picked from my fobster. I'll never get drunk no more. I'm resolved to try it. I'll stick to a different diet. A drink good, I'll deny it. And shun the air of store. That's where they tell us. It's all jolly good fellas. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please? <laughs> okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. How's it going? Let's go, girl. All right. Let's go then. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Ride fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah.
You can go faster than this. About as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Just by the water there? You mean? I can't wait to get started. Well, first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. He's got a bite. Look. Fish on the line. Is it a big one? Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just. Sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. 
Five thousand dollars? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Please. Okay, girl. Look, rabbits are out. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because. Well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us, to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. This necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And 
They want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. So you, you saw Pinkertons, did you? Saw, met, and got the full message. And what did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Morning, Arthur. Hey there. Say, Morgan. Morgan, you got any hair pomade? Excuse me? You know, <laughs> hair pomade. No. Well, if you happen to find some, Sure. I'll buy you some hair pomade. Okay, girl. There, girl. Oh, 
Okay, girl. Show it up. Morning, sir. Let's go, girl. Yeah. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Ah, yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. Hey, let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. 
I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. OK. <laughs> And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha, ha, ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. All the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick. And fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. They're left here, towards roads. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, 
takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scared face. A right barrel of laughs. Yep. So, we locked the tracks with the wagon. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, he picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. Hey, slow down a bit. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Drive on the road, for Christ's sakes. Just the action that requires a break. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're a funny feller, John Marston. Are you trying to kill those horses? Well, my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what Look you're out. talking about. Hey, take it easy. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. You're crazy? We're gonna lose a wheel. Remember, these are innocent folk. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Finish up here and join us on board. Hey, all right, get on that train. Faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Make that quick and join us on there. Go right. on! Get on there! Faster! All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Everybody stay 
Call the sheriff. You get shot. Please don't help me. Go. And then you got money, valuable. You make Money? me sick. Nothing you two else. seem to think we're playing make games. Me hurt you. I want to count to three. One, two. God damn it! Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Boys, let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Reach out. Tough guy, huh? You sure about Why that? Why are you wasting our time? You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Everything you got. Money. Valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't be in there. Honey, now! Shit. Come on, tough it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? <laughs> what is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? Probably something in here, Arthur. to cover. I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. We'll take that. I'm gonna have a right out of loaf on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hot bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Some decent stuff. All right, we should probably be going now. Come on, we should get out of here. We're looking good in here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? Oh, I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Marston, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <laughs> Big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. There! Come on, those sons of bitches! Oh. Look out on the left! Here come the friends!
Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Now yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so. But I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. 